Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir, I was saying, therefore, that I uh, had a meeting with the medical team in the presence of certain members of the Labour Party. I mentioned Honourable Asya Vaden, Honourable Boulel, Honourable Omir, uh, Honourable Shakil Mohamed, and Mr. Damri. I subsequently gave instructions for the request to be processed immediately. Arrangements were made with the Ministry of Finance, Economic Planning and Development for the amount claimed by Kalwa Holding Limited to be advanced so as to enable the company to proceed with the evac evacuation exercise. Consequently, with the approval of the Ministry of Finance, Economic Planning and Development, an advance account was opened in the name of the Secretary to Cabinet and Head of Civil Service for effecting payment for the hiring of the air ambulance. Mr. Speaker, sir, arrangements were made urgently and in all good faith for payment to be effected by the State Bank of Mauritius Limited through Kalua Holding Limited for the medical evacuation exercise. On the same day, that is on 6 of September 2021, Mr. Damri sent another email to express his appreciation for the assistance extended and confirmed his undertaking to reimburse government all payments advanced in favor of Dr. Rangulam. Later on that same day, the Secretary to Cabinet and Head of Civil Service also officially informed Mr. Damri that payment had already been effected to Kalwa Holding Limited through the State Bank of Mauritius Limited. Mr. Damri was, at the same time, reminded of his undertaking to reimburse the amount so advanced. The financial assistance had been extended on the clear undertaking by Mr. Damri that he would reimburse the amount so advanced. The total amount involved in the medical evacuation stands at 156,675 US dollars. It was clear right from the beginning that the total cost of the medical evacuation would be around that figure. Mr. Speaker, sir, I must say that arrangements were also made for our High Commission in New Delhi to extend all necessary assistance to Dr. Rangulam during his treatment and recovery in India. Mr. Speaker, sir, nearly two months after the medical evacuation, there was no attempt by Mr. Damri nor the Labour Party to reimburse the amount advanced. Consequently, an email was addressed to Mr. Damri on 28th October 2021 by my office requesting him to effect the reimbursement in accordance with his undertaking by end of November 2021. As there was no response, a reminder was sent to Mr. Damri on 10th December 2021 with a renewed request to reimburse the amount by 15th of December 2021. Mr. Damri still failed to effect the reimbursement. A first meeting was convened on 29th December 2021 at the Prime Minister's office, during which Mr. Damri, who was accompanied by Mr. Fugu, agreed to effect the reimbursement, provided details of the different expenses were communicated to him by Kalwa Holding Limited. Mr. Damri still did not reimburse the amount in spite of the fact that Kalwa Holding Limited did subsequently provide to him 
all the details. A second meeting was convened by the Secretary to Cabinet and Head of Civil Service on 2nd of March 2022, during which Mr. Damri, who was again accompanied by Mr. Fogu, reiterated his agreement to effect the reimbursement within a week after agreeing with, Ms. with Kalwa Holding Limited and the State Bank of Mauritius Limited on the exact amount to be refunded. Mr. Damri still failed to effect the refund in spite of the fact that Kalwa Holding Limited had already submitted to him the details of the expenses incurred. Following consultation with the Attorney General's office, a letter was sent to Mr. Damri on 20th of May 2022, wherein he was again called upon to refund the amount, which now stands at 156,675. <coughs> U US dollars and 77 cents within a week, failing which the Prime Minister's office would envisage recovery through legal means and take such other actions as it may be advised. Mr. Speaker, sir, following my reply on 5th of July 2022, both Mr. Damri and Dr. Rambulam have alleged in the media that commissions are being claimed on the cost of the medical evacuation of the latter. Mr. Speaker, sir, let me provide to the House a breakdown of the expenses, which, as I said earlier, amounted to a total of 156,675.77 US dollars as follows. Payment to SpiceJet, I, I am saying in, uh, in US dollars, pay, payment for SpiceJet for the medical evacuation flight, 126,390.57. Air ticket for Mr. Dam, Danishwar Damri, 2,600. Ground handling charges, 8,000. Flight planning and clearances, 2,000. Travel insurance for Dr. Navin Rambulam and Dr. Das, 179.70. General COVID-19 medical cover for Dr. Navin Rambulam, $3,726.44. Ground to air flight dispatch and packs handling at SSR International Airport, 950. Kalwa Aero Limited Administrative Fee, 1,200. Kalwa Holding Limited Service Fee, 5,600. Part payment and interest paid, 4,957.75. That is on the credit card in September 2021 by Kalwa Holding Limited. 240 days interest on overdraft facilitated by SBM, $823.81. State SBM bank transfer charges, local and international, $247.50. Mr. Speaker, sir, this is the only claim set to Mr. Damri, which they have so far failed to settle. There is no indication of any commission as alleged by them. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister, for being a caring government and helping the former Prime Minister in this difficult time. <laughs> Can the Honorable Prime Minister state the reason why Air Mauritius could not airlift the former Prime Minister for his treatment in India? Well, we, we have, uh, in fact, undergone some certain uh, uh, we, we discussed with Air Mauritius initially uh, before all this uh, in order. In fact, we, we, there was a flight that was uh, 
uh, going to that was leaving for uh, Mumbai, and uh, we in fact made arrangements for the flight to be to be uh, prepone, and uh, uh, there was an urgent situation. The Dr. Amgulam had to be evacuated. So we uh, discussed with the doctors. They told us that uh, there were a number of arrangements that have to be made in flight, for example, for carrying oxygen and so on. But unfortunately, because of uh, certain rules and regulations, it was not possible to do so. And that is where we, in fact, I personally talked to the High Commissioner of the Republic of India uh, when we, we, in fact, I saw certain press articles, I must say, in fact, blaming the government, that it was government's fault that, you know, uh, they, we could not uh, charter a, a, a plane when it was not so. In fact, it was left for the Labour Party. They themselves told us that they were doing the needful, but as I said, nothing has been done. And then I, I discussed the matter with the uh, uh, High Commissioner of India, uh, whereby we made the arrangements and therefore SpiceJet was uh, chartered to be able to uh, convey Dr. Angulam to uh, India. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, in your reply, Honorable Prime Minister, you mentioned about uh, the, uh, the sum and amount that was, uh, had to be reimbursed. Can, can you state whether any member of the Labour Party has publicly taken the undertaking to reimburse the amount due to the airlifting of the former Prime Minister to India? Well, in fact, uh, some of the members of the Labour Party had made public statements uh, saying, for example, Honorable Asya Vaden himself, uh, on the 7th of September, uh, it was reported, and I quote what he said, son transfer jusqu'au All Indian Institute of Medical Science, Sciences, coûtera, lui-même il le dit, 154,540 dollars, euh, une note qui sera payée par le Parti travailliste, et je cite exactement les paroles qu'il dit en créole, c'est clair qu'il nous signe undertaking, le Parti travailliste, qui nous pour payer, sa traitement qui docteur Amgoulam peut le faire des hauts, à la fin du jour, c'est nous qui pour payer. And let me, let me, well, I won't quote again, he, he has made several statements, hein, Mr. Speaker, I'm not going to quote, to quote uh, uh, everything, but uh, since the, I, 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 today we saw the uh, misbehavior of uh, Honorable Shakil Mohamed, this is what another honorable member, Shakil Mohamed, said. Uh, uh, tout, tout ce que le gouvernement a ce jour, si vous ne pas tromper, c'est à peu près 150 000 dollars. Ça, l'engagement-là a été pris. Euh, c'est à la demande du Parti travailliste. Nous finissons dire qu'ils ont envie de rembourser tout cela. Parce qu'ils finissent dire à où On finit dire à où qui fait Parce qu'en ce moment, l'île Maurice ne peut pas avoir un moment très, très difficile du point de vue économique, du point de vue santé, du point de vue sanitaire, social, et ne pas penser qu'il y a une bonne idée, même quand nous finissons de prendre la décision, nous finissons approche le gouvernement, nous finissons de dire le docteur Djoumaï, nous avons envie de payer, et nous finissons de dire, elle est là, ok, pas de problème, pas aucun problème. Donc, je vais juste un autre uh, statement de l'honorable, mais il y a d'autres. I have a supplementary question. Yes, I have the mic. I have the mic. Good. I wanted to ask the Prime Minister whether he will submit the call log. You have a call log as a Prime Minister to show that it was, it was an incoming call on that particular day because I have it from Dr. Nami Ramgulam that I may ask you this question to produce the call log to show that it is an incoming call from the lady you have, you have mentioned, not, rather than outgoing call. Will you, therefore, agree to submit to this House a call log? Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, sir, Order. Mr. Speaker, sir, I hope the Honourable Leader of the Opposition does not want me to uh, give an account of what has happened. I think it is, it is shameful. You know, why, you know why I decided to relate exactly what has happened? Because I must say it is really sad. You know, I, let's put politics aside. We put politics aside. 
It was a situation where Dr. Angulam had to be evacuated urgently, you know? And I, I, I don't want to say the number of times when I spoke to his wife and what, was, what has been said. I won't disclose that because already what I'm saying, I, she talked to me. There is creating a lot of ha-ha there, a lot of... Uh, so. But if I, if, I, if I say what has been what has been the tenor of our conversation, I think it will be, they will be even more ashamed of what, what, what they have been doing. And, and, and therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, I maintain what I, I have said, and of course I'm not going to disclose the, the, the tenor of uh, our conversation.